guys welcome back to my channel how are you how are you doing with the current situation um i'm doing all right up and down some days better than others which i think is probably what it's like for everybody at the moment um but yeah i hope that if you're watching this that you and your family are doing okay um i thought today i would do another video that's kind of relevant to um the situation that we're in at the moment and i thought i would do a video to talk about ways you can enjoy outside and going out and doing things without actually leaving your home i need to think of a uh, more catchy title than that um but yeah basically i just wanted to kind of go through some of the ways that i have found that you can kind of still go out and um see nature go to shows all these kind of different things from the comfort of your own home a lot of these, um, you may have seen actually my last one of my last videos where I spoke about being housebound and the fact that I have been housebound on and off for quite a long time because of my health problems. Um, and a lot of these things that I have found, I've only found them since the pandemic. Um, they've kind of become available since then. Before then, there just wasn't a huge amount of stuff for people who were housebound, people who were having to isolate. Um, there just wasn't, there weren't the same resources. So I kind of hope that if something can come from this, it's that perhaps a lot of these resources will continue to be made available because obviously you know there's going to be a lot of people who are still housebound after this pandemic is over who would really appreciate being able to access those kind of things um who haven't been able to necessarily access them before but for now they are available and i thought i would just kind of talk you through some of the ones that i have found um i've been kind of googling and searching and trying to find different ones um these were the ones that i could find i'm guessing there are loads more so do let me know if you found something that you can do that kind of helps you connect with the outdoors um leave a comment in the comments bit below because i think it'd be really nice to share some of this stuff because there won't be like stuff won't be like suitable for everybody but hopefully there'll be something there that people will kind of enjoy so yeah I've got a few and I'll just go through them um, and describe a little bit about what they're about and then hopefully if you kind of are interested you can check out the links below. I'll try and link everything I possibly can so that if you want to check something out you can click on the link and give it a go and let me know how you think what you think of it. So the first thing that you can do to connect with the outside and to visit the zoo is to watch various webcams and live streams that are being put on by different zoos. A lot of different zoos seem to be doing this, whether they're in the UK or in other countries, doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Um, if you're having to access it from home, it doesn't matter if you're watching one in America or one in the UK or one anywhere else. Um, but some of the ones that I have found are the Cincinnati Zoo Facebook page. Um, they seem to be doing a daily home safari and I've watched a few of them. If you kind of can't watch them kind of at the time that they're putting them out, they are saving them on the Facebook page. And they're just going around like different animal enclosures with some of the keepers and showing you the animals and talking to you a little bit about them. I was watching one, I think it was about wallabies and the keepers were kind of in the in the enclosure they had all like the little wallabies around them and it was a really nice way of kind of feeling like you're getting up close to animals i quite enjoy going to the zoo i don't go that often but when i do go i love to sort of see all the different animals and find out about the conservation projects that zoos are doing and so this is a really nice way of visiting the zoo without actually having to leave your home and I kind of think this would be quite a fun thing to watch with kids but to be honest I'm an adult and I quite enjoy it as well. So yeah there's the Cincinnati Zoo Facebook page, um, there is the Atlanta Zoo uh, Panda Cam which is like a, I think it's a live camera on the panda enclosure so you can watch what the pandas are getting up to and then I think some of the UK zoos are also doing sort of similar things or just doing kind of videos here and there so places like Marwell, Whipsnade, London, Longleat and Ch uh, Chester I think all of them do sort of videos and things like that on their Facebook pages um, I'll find whatever I can and put it in the description just so that if you're kind of looking for different things to watch then 
there's plenty there. But yeah, as I said, good for kids, but also good for adults as well. So I don't know about you, but I quite enjoy going to a pub quiz or a quiz of any kind. It doesn't have to be in a pub, it can be anywhere. I love a good quiz. I get a bit competitive trying to answer questions. And I'm one of those people that quite enjoy, you know, like when things come up and you have like on Facebook or stuff that's shared and you have to like answer questions and stuff. I love that kind of thing. I don't know what it is. I just enjoy answering questions. Um, and obviously at the moment you can't go to a sort of pub quiz or anything like that but there are plenty of people doing quizzes online one person that I have found that I really enjoy her quizzes and her videos and all that kind of stuff is Brummy Mummy she has a YouTube channel a blog an Instagram she's on various social medias and things like that and she's very down to earth she loves Disney and she has been doing weekly quizzes online quizzes um, so she'll do like a live Facebook, uh, a live Instagram stream and she's been doing Disney quizzes and various other ones as well and she dresses up and it's just really fun and a lot of people are joining in, they'll go and like sit in their garden like in a little team with a drink or they will you know sit on their own and do it, it doesn't have to be with other people if you're isolating on your own you can join in as well. And yeah, she basically just reads out the questions, you write them down and then at the end she'll go through all the answers and then you kind of can post to her and let you know how you, let her know how you've done. And yeah, it's obviously, it's not the same as a pub quiz, but it's a bit different, it's a bit of fun and it makes you feel like you're in a bit of a community because it's alive, you can see everybody commenting and it feels like you're all doing that quiz together. So it's a nice way of kind of feeling like a community and feeling like you're part of something without actually having to leave your house. The next thing that you could do at the moment without leaving your house is to visit a museum. And I never knew this kind of thing existed before. I don't know if it existed before the pandem pandemic or whether it's something that's kind of come in since then, but that a lot of museums are offering virtual museum tours or tours of like specific exhibits. I don't really go to museums a huge amount, partly because I'm not a massive museum person, um, but also because it's a lot of like, takes a lot of energy to kind of go to a museum and to be looking around and stuff. Um, but I have been looking at some of these and it's a really nice way of kind of experiencing the museum without having to leave the house. So I think this would be good like now for like everybody, but also if you're housebound kind of because of your health, it's a nice way to try and like feel like you've gone somewhere without having to go. So I had a look at um, the Louvre in Paris and it's really, really good. I went on and you feel like you're in the museum and you can click to decide which way you want to go. There's like where all the like paintings and art, bits of artwork are, there's a little like question mark which you can hover over and it gives you all the information about it and it's just a really nice way of kind of feeling like you're actually walking through the museum and looking at everything from the comfort of your own home. Um, I don't know whether children would particularly like that one or whether it's a little bit like old for them but there's certainly other ones so I found like the Van Gogh Museum do it, the Smithsonian National Museum, a lot of like ones from abroad are doing it, but the British Museum also have one. Um, also NASA have an app where you can kind of have a look around, um, I think it's like the NASA space, uh, I don't know what it's called, I should have really, <laughs> I should have looked at this, looked this up a bit more, but I think there's an app where you can like do lots of different things that you could do at the museum and you can look inside like the spaceships and all that kind of stuff so that might be really fun if you've got kids that are into space um, and also the Metropolitan Museum of Art have a virtual tour so there's so many and I'm sure if you typed in um, like museum virtual tours there would be like loads more that would come up as well those are just the ones that I kind of found with a little bit of googling so yeah if they're kind of not your kind of thing Google it and see what else comes up because I'm sure there'll be something that will kind of suit everybody. But yeah, I was really surprised at just how good the tour was and how much I felt like I was actually looking around. Like I've never been to most of these museums before and now that I've kind of had a little look around some of them, I feel like I have, even though I haven't been there. So this is another one you can try when you're at home and you're kind of 
maybe wanting a day out you could set aside like a morning for just having a virtual museum tour and then you could have lunch in the cafe that is your house. <laughs> Right, so this next one is definitely up my street and something that I did not know about, I didn't know it existed at all and I think it's existed all be like before this all happened. But basically you can go to Walt Disney World in America using Google Street View. And I didn't know this and it took me a little while, like there's certain bits that I found quite easy to find and other bits that I was like struggling to find a little bit. But basically you go on, like just type in like Walt Disney World Google Street View and it will come up for you. But you get the little mound that you can like drag onto the different roads and you can go and look round the Disney parks. Um, so I went into Epcot and saw the big um, like, I don't know what it is, like a golf ball type thing. Um, and then it basically, you could literally walk around the different parks. So I was walking around and you could see like the big lake and you could see all the different rides. And it was really cool, like I've never been to Walt Disney World before, I would love to go. But it was so fun, like obviously you can't go on the rides and stuff, but it's really nice to just look around and if you've been before it's a nice way of like reminiscing about being like going there before. And if you haven't been there before it just gives you a bit of a feel for what it's like in the parks. So definitely give it a go, I honestly could have spent all morning just looking around the different bits because there's so much to see. So I would, yeah, I would massively recommend it. Put on a bit of Disney music, put your ears on and you're almost there. Something else that you could do is to watch some Disney vlogs on YouTube. Lots of people vlog their trips to Disney, whether that's Disneyland Paris or America or Hong Kong or wherever you want to go. There's so many vlogs out there where they show, you know, what they eat and the rides they go on. So, I mean, I love watching these anyway because it's just a way of kind of living my Disney dreams through somebody else. But it's definitely worth watching if you just want a bit of a Disney day and you want to feel like you're at the parks, but you can't obviously get there at the moment. So yeah, definitely like watch some Disney vlogs. Some of the vlogs also will take you on like a particular ride and there's loads out there, I didn't realise this until I started looking but like I had a look on like Splash Mountain and it's someone that's like sitting in um, the front of a boat with their camera so it feels like you're going around the whole ride um, but there's plenty of others, there's um, Small World, there's like some of the roller coasters all sorts of different rides you can go on so you could literally make a day out of going to a Disney park and going on all the different rides so if you've got kids that are into Disney or if you're into Disney I would definitely like look into some of this stuff because yeah as I said you can literally make it like a whole Disney day full of all these different things and then also um, something that has just come up recently on the Disney parks YouTube channel is that they have put um, a parade up there, so the parade from Walt Disney World and it's professionally shot so it's got really really nice footage of all the different um, like people in the procession and the different floats and everything and yeah I was watching it and I almost felt like I was kind of in the middle of Disney. Um, I've never seen that parade before in real life but I literally felt like I was there watching it and you know there's pr plenty of other videos that are kind of not professional but that are people who have been there who have shown the parades and stuff so it's just something else you could add to your Disney day um, without having to actually visit the Disney parks. Something else that I am missing at the moment is being able to go to the cinema. Um, I haven't been to the cinema since before I had my operation in November and it was one of the things that I was really looking forward to going to do when I felt a bit better. Um, obviously there aren't any cinemas open at the moment um, but something, because I was kind of thinking like I wonder what's going to happen to all the films that were meant to be coming out um, but some of them are actually being released on like on-demand services so for example Sky are putting new newly released films out for people to purchase um, and I'm pretty sure um, like we've got Virgin Media and I'm pretty sure I've seen some of the newer films coming out on there that you can buy um, and possibly on other different kind of streaming services and things like that so it's worth kind of looking into like depending on what packages you have having a look and seeing if they have any new films coming out obviously it's not the same as a cinema as a cinema but you could get you know some popcorn or some snacks or whatever and either on your own or with the people in your household you could have a cinema night and watch a film that you've been kind of looking forward to coming out that 
you can't now go to the cinema to see. There's a few that I'd like to see. I'd really like to see Onward, um, which is the new Disney film, but that was the one that I was kind of going to go and see and then couldn't because the lockdown happened. So yeah, obviously you don't have to buy the film, like if you've got films that you like, you've got on DVD that you want to watch, or if you've got Netflix, there's plenty of films on there, or Disney Plus, there's loads of Disney films on there. So it doesn't have to be a new film, but you could make, yeah, a nice little cinema, put some cushions out and like shut the blinds and everything and make it really dark and have a nice little cinema experience without having to go out and actually go to the cinema. Another attraction that is doing a virtual tour is SeaWorld in Orlando. Um, I'm a little bit like not sure about this one because there's some of, some of the sort of exhibits in SeaWorld that I don't agree with but if you're kind of into that kind of thing and there are plenty of other ones that are kind of okay um, it's something that you could have a little look on so again I'll put the links in the description but it's just something that you could have a little look around I don't quite know kind of how much you can see but yeah it's something that you can kind of spend a little bit of time just looking around if you've been there before then it's a nice way to kind of remember those trips and again if you haven't been there like me it's a nice way to kind of look around and kind of yeah almost like experience it without having to go there. So if you're into kind of going to old castles and places like that um, there's a castle called Blarney Castle in Ireland who are doing a virtual tour as well. Um, I find that I can't go to a lot of castles. I mean, I don't spend a huge amount of time going to castles, but castles that I have been to are generally quite difficult to access when you're disabled because obviously they're very old and not all of them have been able to kind of install sort of disabled access so I know when I've been to places before I often end up sitting at the bottom while everyone else goes up and like has a look round because I just can't get up there so this is quite a nice way of being able to look round the castle even if you're disabled you can actually see all of the different things without actually having to just sit at the bottom and wait for everybody else but if you're into castles and it's not one that you have visited before it's a nice way to kind of have a look round, be sort of outside and in the kind of yeah natural environment a bit um, again from the comfort of your own home. Another way to experience nature and certainly nature at its finest is something called the hidden worlds of the national parks so in America there are some pretty amazing national parks and a lot of people just never get the opportunity to go to these places um, but they have these like virtual tours of all the different national parks and they're amazing. I did a couple, well started doing a couple while I was doing my research and the footage is just incredible you feel like you're there you've got a ranger who is like guiding you through the different like parks so that you kind of understand where you are and what you're looking at and they've just made this whole resource i think it's to celebrate a birthday um where there's like educational um like tools that you can use so if you've got kids that are kind of learning about things like that or just if you're looking for ideas for like yeah bringing learning opportunities in they've got loads of tools for kind of education and stuff to learn but even if you're not you know trying to learn anything it's just a really nice way of feeling like you're outside I know we can kind of go for our daily exercise but you know a lot of us are self-isolating completely and also generally with your daily exercise you're probably going for the same walks or whatever it is every day and it's nice to just experience something completely different so definitely check these out because if you're feeling a bit stressed I just think it's really nice to be kind of feel like you're a bit more immersed in the natural world and yeah certainly when I went on it I was really surprised at just how amazing the footage and the tours were so moving on to something a little bit musical now, if you are into opera or if you've never listened to opera before and you want to give it a go, the Metropolitan Opera, <laughs> that was a bit of a mouthful, um, are doing live streams of different um, operas that they have done. Each live stream will be available for 23 hours, um, so you kind of have to make sure you're watching it pretty much in the day that it comes out otherwise you're going to miss it but they're doing it I think it's pretty much every day um, with some of the different operas that have been performed by them so 
I've never I've never been to an opera I've never listened to one you know like the whole way through or anything like that or and I've never seen one performed so now might be a good time to check it out and see what it's all about and this is something that they are making available like just at the moment to try and kind of help people through so definitely give it a go at least like try it as it's being made available you might as well give it a go because it's the easiest way to sort of really experience an opera without having to kind of pay and go and see one so yeah i'm interested to kind of see what it's all about and whether it's my kind of thing um but I'm sure there's like lots and dif lots of different operas available and they're going to be sort of different and different stories. So yeah, I'm going to check it out and I'll let you know what I think. I don't know about you, but something I find quite relaxing is to watch fish. Um, there's just something really, yeah, chilled out about just watching fish kind of go backwards and forwards. And there is an aquarium called the Monterey, I think it's called Monterey Bay Aquarium and they have a series of live cams on different like areas of their aquarium that you can just tune in and watch anytime. So I've just got it here. They have got an Avery cam, so you can have a look at that and watch the birds. They've got the coral reef cam, um, so you can watch some of the different tropical fish. They have got the jelly cam, so you can watch some of the jellyfish, which I think are quite relaxing to watch. I mean, they're scary when they've got like the stingers and everything, but to watch them, you know, you're safe in your own home. Um, they've got the kelp forest cam, so you can see sardines, swirl, and leopard sharks gl glide through the gently swaying kelp canopies. Um, they've got one that looks at otters, birds, and sailboats on M Monterey Bay, so that's quite nice to be able to watch out over a bay and see what's happening there. Um, another jellyfish camera, they've got the open sea cam, so you can watch things from tuna to turtles and sharks and sardines. They've got a penguin cam, so you can watch the penguins. Uh, sea otter cam, you can watch the sea otters. Some of these I'm like really excited to watch. You can watch the sharks. They've got so many different live stream cameras and you could just sit there all day if you want and watch all the different cameras. Um, again, it would be a really fun thing to do with kids, but you know I don't have kids and I am really quite excited to watch the otters so yeah it's just another way to feel like you're connected to wildlife a bit similar to like the zoo live streams um I mean I'm probably never going to get to go to Monterey Bay because you know it's not in the UK um as far as I'm aware I don't actually know where it is I'm guessing it's America or something I should really have checked this before I look um um, yeah I'm guessing America anyway yeah I'm probably never gonna go there in my lifetime so it's just a nice way to experience it and to kind of escape from the four walls that you're currently kind of in for most of the time somewhere that I went I think when I was quite little I don't remember much of it at all that I have been wanting to go back to for years is Kew Gardens and I've wanted to go back to see the Christmas stuff but also to just see everything else and for some reason we've just never got round to it um, but Kew Gardens are actually on Google Street View a bit like the Walt Disney one so you can go and visit Kew Gardens from the comfort of your own home you don't have to go out anywhere and yeah it's just a way that you can kind of go I think you can go through some of the greenhouses and kind of around all the different areas and just see all the different plants and everything and I love going to like gardens like we go to Wisley quite a bit and like National Trust Gardens so it's just another place that you can kind of go and walk, pretend you're like walking through seeing all the different things and again it's just a little like day out <laughs> without having to leave your home. So the next tip is one that doesn't massively apply to me because I don't do this kind of thing much anyway. But a lot of people at the moment are going to be missing going to workout classes, going to the gym, um, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, understandably, a lot of the, all of those things are closed at the moment. But there is so much stuff online on YouTube that you can take part in. Um, with online workouts so you know everyone's heard of Joe Wicks and his online workouts so that's one to look at but there's plenty of others if that's not your thing I'm sure if you go to YouTube and just type in online workouts there will be so much to choose from and if you're not into the kind of like cardio stuff there's yoga there's pilates 
there's literally anything you could possibly want that you normally enjoy you could probably find it on YouTube so it's not the same as going to the gym or going to a class with all your friends but you know you could get zoom on with um, the group calling with the people that you usually go to classes with and you could all watch the same one and do a class together like that so it's just finding ways around the current like lockdown and ways that you can safely take part in these activities whilst kind of following the rules so yeah I the one thing I've always struggled to find is like online stuff that's suitable for people with disabilities or chronic illnesses um, so I'd be really interested if you have a disability or chronic illness and you watch online workout type videos I wouldn't say more I'm not really into like workout but like maybe gentle stretching and things like that if there's one that you would recommend that I could possibly look at please do let me know because it would be good to have something just a little bit of motivation to kind of try and do my physio and to kind of just get moving a little bit so yeah let me know if there's something that you'd recommend for me something else that you could try while you are in isolation is virtual cooking lessons um, again have a look on YouTube there are plenty of like cooking tutorials or cook with me videos um, I know that Nadia Sawala I can't say it, Nadia, Nadia Sawala has done quite a few cooking videos um, but there's so many different people out there that are doing various cooking videos some of them are live some of them are recorded and then you can just watch them when you want but again it's another way you know I know some people enjoy going to cookery classes or doing cookery courses which again you can't do at the moment but this is just a another way to enjoy that kind of stuff um, there's probably tutorials online for cooking different meals so that you could like learn some new skills and you could come out of this with you know some new meals that you could cook or something like that but again it's just another way to pass the time and to kind of escape from everything that's going on at the moment so yeah let me know what cooking you're doing at the moment I'm struggling to get motivated I must admit and I think that's okay you know if you're kind of just eating your comfort food and that's getting you through then that's fine but if you are into cooking and you're looking for a challenge or something different to do then definitely check out YouTube for some cooking ideas. So I've got a couple of ideas for if you are into kind of going to musicals and plays and things like that. Um, I really enjoy going to like the West End and stuff when I can. Um, I had a couple of things booked that are kind of a little bit up in the air at the moment um, but there's still ways to enjoy the musicals and um, you know like London theatres and things like that one of those is um, a program called Broadway HD they're doing a seven day free trial and basically you can stream a whole host of different Broadway shows through that so even if you don't want to pay for it do the seven day free trial and you can certainly enjoy a few musicals during that um, also the good thing about this is that the, some of the musicals are things that haven't come to the UK yet so you can kind of experience stuff that you haven't been able to see because it's in America um, here so I'm going to look into that because I love a musical and you know I've seen some stuff that's in Broadway that I'd be like oh I really want to see that and it will probably come over to the UK at some point but it hasn't yet so I think this would be quite a fun thing to do if you're isolating with family or friends you know you can all sit down in the lounge with the TV on and the sound right up get some snacks again and enjoy watching some Broadway musicals when it comes to musicals in the UK Andrew Lloyd Webber has started sharing some of his musicals on YouTube I will link it below if you want to check it out um, so far I think I have seen him share Joseph uh, Jesus Christ Superstar and I think he's going to have more coming out um, I haven't watched them yet and I'm a little bit not sure whether to watch Joseph because me and my sister have got tickets to go and see it but I don't think it's the same cast so I don't know um, but yeah they're up on his YouTube channel um, I'm not sure how long each one is up for whether it's just like for a certain amount of time and then they're taking it down but it's worth keeping an eye out to see which ones come out because he's done a lot of musicals and I really enjoy his music 
Um, so it's worth kind of keeping an eye and seeing if kind of anything crops up that you might be interested in. Again, it would be a nice thing to do with the people you're with or just on your own if you want to sit and watch a musical one evening um, instead of watching the news all the time. Um, it's a nice way to just relax and listen to some nice music. Also on his Facebook page, he's been doing, um, he's like been playing the piano, playing some of his favourite songs from the musicals. So even if you can't watch like a whole show, you can listen to some of the songs from the musicals and him singing along to them, which, you know, you just wouldn't get at any other time. So it's something you can enjoy that's kind of like a bit of a one-off. If you're more into plays than you are into musicals, the National Theatre are also sharing some of their um, most popular plays on YouTube. Um, so I'm just having a little look at what they've got. So, so far they have shared Jane Eyre um, and it says it was streaming from Thursday the 9th until the 16th. So it's like a limited amount of time, but there's, there's a reasonable amount of time to be able to watch it in. So you've got Jane Eyre, you've got Treasure Island, um, Twelfth Night, One Man, Two Governors, which has got James Corden in it. And I think they're planning to stream more as well. So if you enjoy watching a play or there's plays there that you would have liked to have gone to see, but you haven't been able to, it's a really good opportunity to sit and watch those at home on your computer or on your TV um, and yeah like you might find that you've watched it in person and then it might be something you want to go and do at a later date when the theatres reopen to go and actually see it kind of being performed in real life so yeah there's so much out there that just hasn't been available before and I think it's a really good excuse to kind of try stuff out that try things that you haven't tried before and yeah you might develop a new interest in the like process of it and then my last tip for this video is if you enjoy going out clubbing um i mean it's not something that i tend to do anymore i did when i was a bit younger but yeah I just I find it too tiring now um but some places are offering virtual club nights um obviously it's not going to be quite the same as being in a club with you know like the banging music and the lights but you know you could still join in and have a little dance have a few drinks get people like get your friends on zoom or facetime and all join in together um, I've also noticed that they're doing kind of like festivals online. I think they did Camp Festival online. I don't know whether, how long that's going to be on for, but I saw my friend join in on that. They put a tent in their garden and um, there was like a whole programme of different stuff that was being broadcast that you could join in with. Um, they're also doing a lot of stuff for kids. So like little tight, like festival type things or um, you know like discos and stuff that kids can join in with so there's a heck of a lot of stuff out there that you can enjoy you just have to be a little bit more creative i think don't you and yeah just kind of pretend that you're there when actually you're in your house with a cup of tea but yeah there's so much out there and again i will link what i can down below but if you can't sort of find something that i haven't if you if you can't find anything in the description that you kind of like try googling it because there's so much out there but there's only so much I can link so yeah if you find something that you like do let me know and it'll be nice to share it with others as well so that's all of the ways that I have found that you can go outside and enjoy the world without leaving your home there are plenty more out there I just haven't been able to share them all so do let me know if you have found other ways that you can enjoy the world without leaving your house um, I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have and you want to see more please give me a like and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell that means you'll get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything do leave me a comment let me know if you've tried any of these things and what you think of them or if you found something else and you want to share it as well please let me know also leave me a comment and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see me do whether it's um, around issues that are cur like current in the situation whether it's around chronic illness mental health disability or something completely different let me know what kind of things you would like to see also follow me on social media um, i'm mainly on instagram and twitter the links are in my description but i will put them up on here as well i'd love to see you over there um, i try and reply to messages on instagram as quickly as i can and yeah that's probably the best place to come and have a chat um, especially if you're struggling at the moment i know it's a really strange time and everyone's emotions are up and down um but yeah if you want someone to chat to at all please do come over and find me and 
have a chat and hopefully it will just be a good distraction. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in another one very soon. Bye!